Emergency calls for lost or injured hikers have been high this summer. That's why several agencies are teaming up to be ready when the situation happens. Kettle Land Sydney Thorson gives us a behind the scenes look at the training. The Black Hills has hundreds of hiking trails ranging from a couple miles to dozens of miles long. So when hikers get lost or injured, it can be tricky to find them and get them to safety. That's what these crews are training for. The goal here is to work with the various agencies and just make sure that we're proficient with the equipment and we can do it in a quick fashion and, and really do what's best for that patient and get them, get them secured um, and, and stabilized and out of here. In this training, crews are rescuing an injured man in a challenging location. The scenario today is we have a 53-year-old male that has a compound fracture that took a 10-foot fall, and search and rescue is on scene to help package the patient, and the Air National Guard is going to come out and do an aerial hoist lift. With help from the South Dakota Army National Guard, a rescue like this can take anywhere from a half an hour to two hours. This helps us with just working with the National Guard, allowing us to um, efficiently work with the medics and the pilots to make sure that the situation is safe and as speedy as possible to help get them to higher care. So a lot of work and effort goes into these backcountry rescues. It's hard work, but trainings like these help emergency responders better serve their communities and save lives. In the Black Hills, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Now, the Rockerville Fire Department says it performs hoist rescue training at least once a year.